There are plenty of guides online that show you how to convert HDR videos to SDR but little to no results with regards to the exact opposite. In this video, you will learn how to use the Color Space Converter tool in Encode GUI so that you can convert videos from SDR to HDR. The latest version of Encode GUI as I'm making this video is version 1.0.7 which is only available to patrons until July 31st. You can find out more details on how to become a patron for Encode GUI early access updates in the video description. The latest free version of Encode GUI as I'm making this video is version 1.0.5. Let's go ahead and get started. So before I continue further, I must mention that it's very important that you follow each step and the advice in this guide as this process isn't very straightforward and may require some interpretation. Before attempting the steps in this guide, you should watch the introduction video of Encode GUI and also watch the video guide to video, audio, and subtitle encoding as the content in those videos will be needed to be learned first. Once you have watched those videos, you'll be ready to continue further. First, select the source video and then configure the encoding settings. For the best results, you want to ensure that the video you select is in 10-bit color death as you'll likely see color banding artifacts on 8-bit HDR videos. For this guide, you'll also need to use the HEVC video codec since it's the only codec in Encode GUI that supports HDR. You'll also need to enable the HEVC profiling and set it to what you see on the screen now. Set the output video color death to 10-bit on the bottom. Next, you'll want to go to the Vaporsynth tab and then the Colors tab. There, you will see the Color Space Converter option and you'll want to enable it. The first options are selecting the input matrix, transfer, and primaries. You'll want to see the media info for your video on the right side of the screen so that you know what to select for these options. If there's a question mark or unknown for any of the color spaces in media info, then you'll want to assume BT709 for that color space. Note that the options in the drop down menus are abbreviated and may not match exactly what the media info color spaces states. If you see a color space specified in media info that isn't stated at all in the input color spaces selections, then you'll once again want to assume BT709. Moving on to the output color space selections, you want to set this to what you see on your screen now. What you are looking at are the color space standards for HDR videos. After that, you'll want to go to the Signals tab next to the HEVC tab and enable both the HDR metadata and colors group boxes. For the standard HDR10 configuration, you'll want to keep all of these settings under defaults. If you want to find out more info for each of these settings, then please visit the Encode GUI documentation, which is linked below in the video description. In the colors group box below, you'll want to configure all of the color spaces to the following. And that concludes everything with regards to converting SDR videos to HDR in Encode GUI. To prove that this method works, this video guide that you're watching now has been converted to HDR using the same steps in this video before being uploaded to YouTube. I hope you find everything in this video useful for your needs and if you need to find out more information, you can do so by visiting the Encode GUI documentation linked in the video description below. Please also consider becoming a patron for Encode GUI so that you can get early access to updates, priority support, and also a dedicated role in this channel's Discord server. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel so that you won't miss the next new video for Encode GUI. Regardless, thank you everyone for your support, and I'll see you all next time.